Okay, one last example of this Bonds Off Power Index. Um, you got a five-person air safety review board that consists of a federal administrator, which would be recognized by the letter A, and then you've got two senior pilots, which will be referred to as S and T, and there is two flight attendants, which will be known as F and G. The intent is for the administrator to have considerably less power than the two pilots. Remember, S and T are your two pilots and F and G are your two flight attendants. So in order for A to have less power, A will only vote, A only votes in the case of a tie. Otherwise, cases are decided by a simple majority. Um, cases are decided by a simple majority. You've got four people voting, right? S, T, F, and G. That's four votes. Four divided by two is two. You have to have more than half. So three votes is what you need. So that means either either the two pilots and one of the flight attendants have to vote together, so these have to vote together, or the two pilots and this flight attendant votes together, or <laughs> the two flight attendants and this pilot, or the two flight attendants and that pilot. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. And they show this on the next slide. They're like, okay, the winning coalitions um, have to have, let's see, here's the two pilots and then one of the flight attendants. And then here's the two pilots and the other flight attendant, G. And again, you need a vote of three, so they're all critical members. And then you could have the two flight attendants with the first pilot or the two flight attendants with the, uh, the other pilot, T. And then, of course, you could have all four of them could vote together, right? And since all four of them vote together, none of them are critical because it only takes three votes. So any one of the four can say, nah, I'm out. And the other three will still make it happen. Now, let's say it's a split decision. Let's say that the two, the two pilots, S and T, they vote one way. You know, they vote for something to happen. But the flight attendants say, no way in hell do we want that. So then what happens is the administrator steps in because it's a split decision. Two of them vote one way, two of them vote the other. So he steps in and he makes a decision, which one am I gonna go with? So he may go with the two pilots or where is the two flight attendants? That's at the bottom. They got the two flight attendants together here and then the administrator says, you know what, I'm gonna vote with them. And then the other four combinations, and again, these are all A's, right? Is when you have one of the pilots with one of the flight attendants. So this is pilot S with flight attendant F. Or pilot S agrees and votes with flight attendant G. Or, <laughs> uh, Pilot T and flight attendant F, they decide to vote the same way on something. Or pilot T with a uh, flight attendant G. There you go. 
And once again, there's only three votes, so that makes them all critical. And when I look at this, how many do we have? Let me use another color. How about... Uh, 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 how about... Oh my gosh, how about orange? I haven't used orange in a while. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. You know, <laughs> I just realized it shows one through eleven here, except number ah, one through four. 5 through 11, 5 doesn't have any critical voters, so there were 10 times that there were 3 critical voters. Hello, 10 times 3 is 30. That would have been a hell of a lot easier than what I just did. So anyway, there's 30 of them, right? And uh, let's see, we see that each board member is a critical member of exactly 6 coalitions. So, let me erase these again. Where are the, let me check my time. A is my administrator. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one of the pilots is S. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one of the flight attendants is F. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to use another color for the other pilot is T. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the other flight attendant is G. One, two, three, four, five, six. So when they say all members have equal power, they do. They all have six. They're, every single one of them is critical six times out of the 30. And six out of 30 does reduce to one fifth. So we see each board member, including the administrator, is a critical member of exactly six coalitions. So their bonds off power index is six out of 30, which would reduce to one fifth. Now, in terms of percentages, one-fifth is actually 20%. So, so the administrator, each pilot, and each flight attendant have 20% of the power. That's equal power across the board. And that's what you really want in these situations. So, But sometimes on Survivor, <laughs> people get extra votes, or they lose their vote, or they get a you know a, one of them hidden immunity necklaces and... So, you know, they like to throw things like that into the game now. All right, so that's the end of my lecture. And from here on out, I will be doing my math lab examples. So I hope I've made sense. And this is the last lecture. So I hope you've enjoyed my, you know, entertaining style here. At least I think I'm entertaining. All right, so I'm turning it off, signing off.